Hi, I'm Kat Keane, Health Educator at Arthritis New South Wales. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the beginner exercises in a circuit format. I'm only going to be choosing five exercises, and you can choose more or less. And I'll be performing five reps of each exercises, and again, you can choose more or less depending on your fitness and mobility level. Please also refer to the booklet for further information and instructions. Thank you. Let's get to it. Okay, so the five exercises I've picked today to demonstrate are a sit to stand, a wall push up, a body weight deadlift, a bicep curl, and seated knee extension. So we'll start with the wall, uh, with the sit to stand. So for the beginner level, um, I've mentioned that it may be a raised uh, seat or bed. So if you have that um, and you prefer to use that, then go ahead. If not, you can just use any level seat and that should be fine. Uh, with the sit to stand, you're mimicking a, a squat. Um, however, you might be at a stage where you need a little bit more support. So sit in your seat. Instead of standing up with your bottom right back in the seat, move your bottom to the front and just have your knees come over your toes just a little. With the sit to stand, ideally, you want to just stand straight up without using your hands. But you may have to, and that's okay. I'm going to place my hands across my chest so you can follow or you can use your arms to help push you up. So I'm going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. When you're at the top, you want to gently tuck your hips under slightly and draw your ribs down by pulling your belly button in and give a slight squeeze of your glutes. That's five rounds of the sit to stand and the next I'm going to do is a wall push up. So find a wall that is solid and you're going to place your hands about a shoulder and a half width apart from each other. Okay, And you can perform this push up with whatever range that you have within your shoulders, your elbows, and your wrists. We're going to perform five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. What we want to ensure is that we don't sag our hips to the wall. So you, again, you want to keep a tight core, gently tuck your hips, and pull your belly button in. The next one is a body weight deadlift. So I'm going to grab um, a broom stick, okay? Here. <laughs> um, you can use whatever stick that you like. Um, it could even be slightly weighted. That's up to you as well. Okay, to perform this exercise, have your feet shoulder width apart. Rest the broom or stick on your thighs. I'm going to turn side on for you here. Um, and what you're going to do is tip from your hips. Your bottom goes back. Bend your knees slightly and keep your head in a neutral position. We're going to do five. Sliding the bar down to your knees. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Second last exercise we're going to do is a bicep curl. Once again, I'm just going to use my good old broom. You may like to use, again, some very light or small weights. You could even use a, a tin of baked beans or anything like that would work as well. So, gripping the bar. So the bar rests on your thighs. Soft knees. Tuck your tummy under, your hips under, and your tummy in. Looking straight ahead. Keep your elbows nice and close and bring the bar to your chest. We'll count for one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the last, the last exercise will be a knee extension while seated. So in your chair, getting comfortable, 
The whole point of this exercise is to use your quad muscles here. And they're the ones that are going to help you getting up out of a chair, getting up out of bed, and going up and down stairs. So it's important to try and train these and get these strong. Um, just relaxing in your chair is fine. And all you're going to do is straighten your knee out as far as you feel comfortable. When you get to the top of the range, for example here, I want you to squeeze your quads on so they're nice and hard, okay? And then slowly relax to the ground. Let's count five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that brings us to the end of the circuit. Remember, I only picked five exercises. You could have more or less and pick what works for you, okay? We don't want to work until we're feeling pain or uncomfortable and you can do more or less reps as well. So good luck, everybody. Have fun exercising.